Hold on, let me find like Hamtaro now. Hold on a sec. No one go anywhere. Show us the hamster. You guys are like not gonna want to see this. Hamtaro the show is over, but Hamtaro the body of work. I think he, there was something he was involved in more recently, but it wasn't like the show. Yeah, what have I done? I'd put this on screen if it was easy, but it's not easy. What if I did this? You can kind of see it. You can kind of see old versus new Hamtaro. The new Hamtaro is from 2011. I don't want to readjust this to put it more on screen because I'm just using the YouTube layout I always have. What if I do this one? Whoa. Now you can see, like, not not any more of him. It's whatever. Yeah, there was in-between stages to these two. And that's a particularly fat Hamtaro even for the left side. He would have a neck sometimes. I think he was cuter for the first one, though. Ooh, look at this. You got the full range. I think new Chopper looks better than old Chopper, to be honest. Chopper's kind of ugly, but not in a charming way. And to be 100% honest, the Yokai Watch thing looks pretty much the same. Like, yeah, it's different, but I don't think it makes it better or worse. I guess I like the old one a little more. Oh, it says 2025, so that hasn't even happened. It's probably just a gag. Give me old Pikachu, old Hamtaro, and new Chopper. Boku wa tata, tani tani choppa. I wonder if Sephiroth and Rika are playing right now. So, like, what was Oda on when he made Chopper's last name Tony Tony? What does that mean? Oh, Chris Chain videos. Remember that one where he did blackface? That was pretty great. Chris Chain blackface is the thing I need in my life. I don't know why my Steam was disconnected. Got an invite from both. Truly nice. Sephix didn't work. Rika must have made the lobby. I'm here. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. 
<sighs> Six to two. That's not too bad. <coughs> Hit me. How do you play Kimmy? I'm gonna run start jumping fierce into dive kick. And he'll never expect it. Oh damn. Easy. Uh my back dash. Oh. I did a DP with punch, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Oh, he did it. He held. I could have backdashed too. too. Uh. Sephiroth has no talent, only momentum. Oh. Ah, oh, bad. I deserve that. A little out of practice. Two e. Hmm. Ooh. That was so easy to anti-air, that's the worst part. Oh, that was a punish! Oh, very cool. Whoa. How'd that hit? <laughs> that was my warm-up round. I feel like none of that was actually good, but I was caught off guard by it. I could have challenged a lot of air stuff that I didn't challenge. And I didn't complete a combo. I don't really like the chariot tackle whiff into Stand Fierce reset, to be honest. But the... EX fireball to throw was kind of cool. I like that one. Cool. That slam. That kind of telegraphs too much, doesn't it? Or not tele? Well, yeah, telegraphs, but this is it's just too slow in general. How are you gonna have that close roundhouse work? It doesn't really seem like a thing. Uranes is already kind of too reactable, but it's at least fast enough that it works. Ironically, in a game with shitty overheads, um, Uranes Charge Seminos is actually, like, good enough to use. Well, plus frames matter a lot more in that game. Because everyone's inputs are perfect. Nah. I don't even think it will. Yeah. Sephiroth also just could have come down and been able to block the follow-up. Didn't matter what he did there. Ooh. Stomps. That knockdown is cool. Oh, look at the damage, though. Uh, you're minus there. Rika should have challenged that. Level 1 focus. That might work. Level 1 focus on block is almost always minus, even in a Mega Mode. Mmm, that doesn't mix up. It's hard to react. I tend to block it like across the hallways because it's a lot worse to... Ooh, that's probably going to work. Mm, well. Wow, he won. He who dares wins. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's one of those. Rika ventured and he gained. And here, that's very nice. I forgot the anti-air focus. Ugh. That's not really worth the bar, I feel. Meaty. That's cool. It's like weird and buggy and glitchy the way that EX Fireball works. Oh, I can't believe Sephiroth could have had a checkmate there if he just waited. Jump jab is good.
Seth's EX Fireball is probably his best feature in Omega Mode. But you usually don't get that much damage with it. You can put together some pretty strong combos, especially in the corner. But oftentimes it'll just let you get a command grab, which is like 140. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. I'll give this another go. Honestly, like, Kami's Ultra 1 is so shit in Omega Mode that you can maybe pick Ultra 2. They're, like, suddenly balanced against each other because they nerfed one so much. No. Oh. oh, I missed. That crossed up. That actually crossed up. Ah, uh, it's supposed to be canceled to a dive kick, but it's only air punches. Well, he knew. Whoa. Ooh, they hit me on the ground, of all things. What a mess. We were both just mashing. No completions anywhere. <sighs> uh, he released. I got all the damage I just got. Oh, that's not fair. Ooh. Mm, didn't hit him. Mm. I should have cancelled to a dive kick. I should have been jump fierce. Oh, scary. I thought he'd beat me mid air, so I went for an air throw, and it worked. Meeting me mid air was the obvious play there, but DPing me was the better option. Seth's DP can beat Kami's dive kick mix up. That's a good DP. I was kind of slow on that uh, EX drill. I should have done it sooner than I did. But fortunately, I didn't die. Do I know the motion for this ultra? I think it's with punch. I want to say down back, down back punch. Phase is down forward, down forward kicks, I think. Ah. Ooh, very cool. I needed to follow up. Uh, what about that? I meant to hit a button. Oh. I can usually outplay Rika Fresh just by um, focusing on fundaments because that's his weak area. If I let it get to like a scramble, it's a coin toss. I was too throw I was too early. But if it never gets to a scramble, I'm okay. That was a bit greedy of me. Uh that was the right punish option he was going for. That wasn't bad anyway. Uh unusual punish. Whoa, that got me some so far out. Oh yeah, got Volcanic Ram. Every fighting game must have at least one stage that makes random select awful. Ah, uh, it was too early. Not a true block string, but true enough. I'm not comboing the drill. Oh, that was nice. Hmm. 
I should jump forward. Oh, fuck. Make it stop. Ooh, that got me. Did I get him? Oh. <laughs> why, Sephic? Why, why, why? That was a failed SPD, maybe? Yeah. I guess we all learned something. We learned the suffix bad, which we already knew. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Didn't even hit. Ugh. No comment. Mm. Ugh. Oh, that's not good. What a trade. What are you going to do about this wake-up drill, Sephiroth? What are you going to do about it? I'm going to wake up hard drill. Okay. He did not want towards Fierce. I think he didn't want to be on the side he ended up on. And I was just blocking, but then, you know, I hit my three-frame jab, because that's what you do. Situation's ugly. Three-frame jab. Epic. Ugh. Oh, he knew. Not a great punish, though. Whoa. No. Oh. No, oh, I went for it. Maybe greedy. <laughs> that was bad. That was a heavy drill, too. Only got one hit. Easy. Mm. I, I EX uppercut it, I promise. EX sting. Uh. Mm. Very nice. Got the link. Uh. Ooh, this a lot. Fuck me up. <laughs> he missed me. <laughs> Ooh. I thought it was perfect, but he whiffed. Oof. No. Mm. Uh, jab would have worked there, I bet. Uh. Ooh, caught me jumping. What a bad combo. I don't even know if that was max damage. Yeah. Easy. Easy reads. He's not dead. <laughs> Help. Oh, fuck. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. I waited so long between that walk and that spiral arrow, but I still got the uppercut. That was horrible. He went for EX upper, which would have probably not beaten me unless he did it really early. It's not invincible in this game. 
he had a couple opportunities to kill me, and I had a couple opportunities to kill him. That's how it goes. Huh. That must have been Ultra, I guess. Well, I'm not waiting. Every now and then when I pick Ultra, I try and play on it, but it doesn't happen often because I have a brain. It's weird trying to go for links in the middle of a match. It's like nice to not have to worry about it. Ugh. Whoa. Mm. I got him. Epic damage. Nah. Oh, I went for the big, big damage. Oh shit, that was the wrong route. Well, it was the right route, actually. Uh, uh, not too bad. Oh. Uh. Yikes! Crash. He did it. The madman. Ooh, the trade. Man, you're normals. Should I be doing jump strong, I think? So I can hit further down. Hit sooner. Oof. Oh, it's too far. Jab, I think. What am I good? Oof. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm bad. Yeah. Oh, no, I did EX. I want to throw away some meter, I guess. Ooh, that second jump. Yeah. Uh, oh, did he get me? No. I hit jab then. That should have gotten me. That's a, I forgot how safe that super was. It's probably just totally safe. A lot of supers in Omega are safe. It's because the price of losing the super is bad enough. I did jab. You had a very small window to actually get a punish there on my jab. You did have to delay it more, but you were looking for a 3 frame window where you didn't know where it was, so, you know, it's a crapshoot. I have the world's most godlike T-Hot. Oh, shit. Uh, I should have dived. Can you even dive up? Oh, apparently not. Mm. Oh. He didn't do anything. Ooh. Very ooh. Should he XSPD? 
I let him have too much fun. Oh, uh, not too bad. Mm. Mm. Oh, man just did it. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't like that trade. Uh. Gotcha. Uh, I probably pushed him over the stun threshold there. Not a combo. Yeah, I guess so good in the Mega Man. Respect the land. It's almost the shade of Sonic the Hedgehog. That's why I like it. I can feel the power of the earth. Gotcha. Ooh, scary. Uh. Ah, oh, the fucking gun. Light condor spire is so fucking good in a mega mode. Yeah. Mm. You got the start of a confirm. Uh, plus frames. Epic trade. Whew. Oh, he caught me. Gotcha. World's fastest double half circles, right here. Mm. Got me. I didn't see that jump. Rika has a way of always burning all his bar. He'll like see an opportunity and he'll cash in. Mm. Uh. Uh oh. This is dire. Oh, it's very dire. Ah, uh, I got hit out of a DP. T Hawk's tall. Uh oh, he doesn't know the combo still. Uh, oh fuck. I dropped it several times over. I wasn't expecting it to work. That was scary. It was possible to punish me there, he just didn't get it. I thought I was going to hit him on the way down. But I didn't, so I was caught off guard. So I blocked. Quite frequently in this game, you'll find yourself in a horrible scramble. Yeah. 
You've got to use all your wits. This is like scrambles the game, to be honest. Did they look forward it and I lost? That probably can be a punish. I don't know. I want him to try again. That looked like a punish. Mm. Is that invincible? No way. Oh yeah. Whew! Hitbox. That looked like a punish. Mm -mm. I had a punish there. Same enough for sure. Not bad. Not a punish. Eh, yeah, it's fine. That's sad. I wanted close strong, but I should have known it wouldn't work. But I don't even know what my cancel was. Stand jab, I guess. Stand jab, um, EX fire, and then EX uppercut. That was my combo. That's how I killed him. I, I couldn't think about it fast enough. SVD would have been fine too. I think he was dead to that. It was easy to get the kill there, but I couldn't think of what it was. This is like a reverse counter pick. Cody's actually not bad against T-Hawk. I think he probably loses to him. I would think that Cody would beat T-Hawk. an area where Cody's actually quite strong. He's got the punishing options versus T-Hawk's weirder stuff. The anti-air options are kind of awful, but not horrible. Oh yeah. Uh, it's not the right, not the right thing. Big damage. Is that a Lariat I hit him out of? Uh, too far away. Easy, it was a bait. It's all an elaborate bait. I beat my Renhouse. I seem to recall Renhouse being okay in this matchup as an A tier, but I can't get it working now. That was cool. Kind of scared. Uh, if I did focus, I probably killed him. Okay. That was scary. That was really scary. Stop. Tomahawk. Ah, oh, no. Oh, let's draw cancels. I forgot about that. I did that on accent. And then I did it on purpose, because it was the right play. I forgot he got that in Omega mode. That's cool. Omega T-Hawk is buffed as shit. I want to say that Stan jab into low strong is a link. So I could potentially be going for that into Spire. T-Hawk is probably okay against Honda. I don't know if it's like good, but it's almost definitely okay. Having... SPDs is nice, at least to make minor situations into mix-ups. And I can poke uh, block dead butts with sand strong and probably low strong. And I've got the fireball too, really, the seismo. All these things are nice. Oof. Mm. I dropped it. That was a cross up. 
Did he get me? That's not great punish. This is this is how you win with Honda. Block anything and mash one of the twenty great reversals he has. Oh, I didn't want that. I got the 10. Maybe I'm going too hard for these little poor little clowns. Where's Sephiroth? I mean, not Sephix, but Bobbin. The IQ question. Is he around? He'd probably like to be here. Candle, too. I could probably pull out T Hawk to good success at Bath Cups. He's a character very few people seem to have any matchup experience against. He's also very easy to play. And he's also quite strong. It's a pretty potent three combo. Ooh. Uh, I didn't want the fake, to be honest. I get it all the time. I always forget which one's the fake and which one's the real. I held it thinking it would be the real. I wanted the X, uh... Shippu there. No, I'm kind of glad I didn't get it, because I would have spent two bars to kill him. Now he's dead for free. <sighs> Epic confirm. Ooh. That was probably punishable. I didn't have a good thing to do there. It was a nice angle. Uh, not bad, not bad. That was actually a good punish. I would have spent my ultra. That was him. But what he did was not bad. It was very good. Uh, I got him jumping again. Got him. Evil Ken color scheme. I genuinely feel that Omega Ken is not as good as Ultra Ken. Ooh, Sakura. My Ultra Ken is one of my better characters, believe it or not. Epic. Ugh. I did what was dumb. I did what was dumb. Mm. Ooh. A mega a normal. I like the part where I didn't hit him. Mm. I you have to duck the last hit. Oh uh, well, that wasn't even a combo. I tried to cancel the jab and I didn't get it and I just hit low forward. That move is very shitty in this game, compared to how good it is in Omega. I mean, Ultra. Ooh. Mmm, that's a lot of white. I should have not FADC'd that, going by the rules of Omega. I don't know why he anti with that. It's weird. It's not a great attack. Too close to me. What was that? Was it deliberate? It looked kind of weird. Mm. Ooh. Ah. Went for ultra right then. Would have worked if I was a bit faster. 
epic. Very epic. A lot of damage right now. Ooh. Sakura's walk speed, though. Big damage. Mm. <laughs> uh. You see all that power? On that focus? I got a level 2 focus and I got like 500 damage off of it. The, the 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 amount of power you're throwing around with your meter in this game, if you do an even slightly optimized combo, you can just pour, you can just get like 400 damage like nothing. The flowchart Ken was made and then the wing quote was made. Mm. Ooh. That was not a good jump. But I can get punished for it and therefore it was a good jump. Oh, he took that throw all early. Oh yeah, two hits, baby. One of the advantages. Ooh. Yeah, look at it. Can't focus those. The foot has to hit box too. Breaks armor like nothing. It's 130 damage too. I could have anti that. And that was a punish. Whoa! Oh, come back. Good trade for me. Um. I went for gold on that punish. Oh. Very nice. Tatsu's still so important for Ken, even though it's very shitty. It's maybe better in this game than it is in Ultra. It's tricky. It does about double the damage in Ultra that it does in Omega. But Omega EX Tatsu hit crouching opponents, and Ultra EX Tatsu does not. So there's like a serious trade off there. I don't know. I don't play any Arc System Works fighting game seriously. Maybe Cross Tag. Maybe Blast Blue. Ugh. That's some good power right there. Uh. Oof. Uh, -uh. that's an ultra. And I'm dead. I was careless. Easy reads. I can't come out of low short. I'm being bad. Oof. That was a punish. I could have cancelled it. Low profile. Oh, all that damage. Woo. Try not to make too big of a commitment. Mm. Look at all my meters.
cool. What's the downside of Evil Rio? No, low HP, let is he? Super does do more damage than double FADC, but I want to practice my FADCs. Damn, how'd I get to be 5 p.m.? When I stream, the time just fucking runs down the drain. I was gonna make a Mortal Kombat video today, and I probably still will. Should I do Raiden or Liu Kang? First one of those two that someone says, I'll do it. I'll do it, damn it. Raiden or Liu Kang? Whoa. Whoa. Alright, Raiden it is. Ugh, that jump was good. I could have a fatty seed for the kill there. Reversal uppercut might have worked there, but he was he hit so deep, I don't know if he was even minus three. Uh. <gasps> I did that to catch a back dash. <laughs> And I beat an invincible. I root to beat an attack. That wiggling. I don't think that was confirmed. I tried to confirm it, but I think I dropped the link. Epic. Uh. Uh. Ah, that was nice. He got it deep. I was expecting some kind of spaced light ruffian kick into Ultra to kill me. So I jumped to kind of preempt it, thinking he wouldn't be looking for an anti-air. But then he got me. Ooh. Mm. I'm not so easily dissuaded. Maybe for the worse. Oh, I didn't want that. That was supposed to be step kick. I have a better situation there if... If I got step kick. Oh, this is not good. Oh, my job. I heard it. I went for a couple of risky DPs that probably would have worked, but he got true block strings when I went for them, so they couldn't have come out. It was nice. Like, there were some where I checked my swing where they were good, and then other times I mashed it, but uh, I never got them because true block string. Which was not risky for me. Well, it was risky because he could have just blocked. But I didn't have a DP get blocked, which is okay. I'm going to take a piss. I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to refill my drink while I'm up. So I'll be right back, but slower.
Why are we still on this screen? Was there literally an entire match that happened? While I was gone? Now make us quick. No. Rika plays so far outside his PP now. Oh, look at that. Mm, I think that's minus, but I don't remember. Maybe not. Probably not. Yeah. You can react, but it's easy to get overwhelmed. Especially with Sephiroth. Damn the sub. That little flip is super scary. Uh, that's probably plus, but I don't know. That's definitely minus from that range. So would be good to come back. Oh, big damage. Uh, that's unfortunate, because he went for the right combo, but it was the wrong combo based on the range. Oh, what a mess. That's That had to be unsafe. Unfortunately, Rika picked a really slow thing to do. Ironically, that was one of the scenarios where Rika should have done, like, a confirm as his punish. Like, low jab, low short. If it's ever, like, a question mark of whether you'll be fast enough to punish at all, that's when you punish with confirms. Especially if you can start with a fast normal. He saw it. He, it's good that he went, recognized it. He's like, this isn't a punishable attack. Let me go for my big damage. He did that a couple times. That's like the next step in his like learning. But it's still tricky. There's a lot of different ways. Like Now that he's trying to work that in, there's a lot of different ways things can fuck up. Is Cody the can of Final Fight? I've made an Omega video in forever. It's been like months now. I wish I had more time. There's so many things I've been putting off doing until I have some free time. I have a free time today and tomorrow, but I just want to make Mortal Kombat videos while the iron's hot. Ugh. Ugh. That was bad of me. Oh fuck. It's fine. Whoa. That was a punish. Damage. Oof. He didn't really know what to do there and I don't blame him. There wasn't a whole lot of good stuff to do. Because I could do that any time. Jumping back was his best play, but, you know, he had to jump back like crazy. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, I think he wanted uppercut, but he got a punch. No, that was like kick, wasn't it? I gotta run! I blocked right, I promise. Oh. I should have spent the bar, maybe. Ah. Uh, I didn't believe. I should have FADC'd. I didn't think in time. No. Oh no. <laughs> I burned as much meter as I could possibly burn. The EX drill would have killed. But heavy shoulder is what I should have gone for. Because that leads to a lot in the corner. I went for EX shoulder without really thinking about it. Oof. Easy. Got him in the infinite. 
That works in uh that works in Ultra as well to be honest. People see the demon flip and they um they stay block. Let's find out what this is. Oh, you went through him with the EX drill. You just found a new way that Kami uh sucks. I guess you shouldn't have used DX. I don't know. Crouching Cody. I don't have anything to say. It's just unfortunate character interaction. It's a bug. It's what it is. You know. I know. We all know. We all know this game is a buggy mess. Considering how few of those there are, but of course there's still quite a quite a lot. I personally know of about five, and I know there exist probably closer to like fifty. Watch me surprise this man with EX run medium punch. He'll be like, what the fuck just happened? I think people like that strike despite its jank. Although there are definitely some people who like it because of... Tried to be cute. It was actually not cute at all. It was dumb. Oh, I got back on us. Uh, whoa, I could have died. Ultra that would been clean. Uh. Stop. Man's alive. Guy's cool and Omega. Omega guy's the coolest of the guys I've ever been. And guy's always cool. He's got like shades of cross tacking combos. The way his close medium kick works and the way his shoulders work is more like cross tacking than ultra. Mm. Kind of quick with the mirror. Classic effort. That was a counter hit and I didn't even get the combo. Uh, that was a punish. Nice little combo. My jab! Uh, my low strong was a stand strong. I'm dumb. Mm, he did the wrong. He did ultra. Oh. Uh, the range. I probably would have caught him there. I wasn't queuing up an FAC or anything. I was just going to go with it. Whatever happened, happened. I don't know how to punish that. Probably far stand strong. I got a combo anyway. Uh. I could have super cancelled that. That was pretty ballsy. Pretty daring play. I could have whiff punished both of those. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, he doesn't. He's doing the wrong combos. Is that a punish? Uh. 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 Good shit. Chokes on my part. All of a sudden, people are commenting on the time stop glitch on SF5 like crazy. It's like the glitch has already been passed. What's the point of coming commenting on the video? It must have got posted somewhere. I got like several comments on it in the last couple of days. Friend sent me a video of a deer. I'm ready to watch this video. Oh, it's a guy giving a deer a cookie. No, he's petting the deer. Must be nice. I wish I had a cookie to give a deer. They just fucking swallowed it, dude. I'm looking at it on my phone, I can't post it very easily. Ew, look at all that damage. So cool to see that combo land. Oh, the shades, rude. Bad manner. Oh, the cancel. The timing on that is super weird. It's not a combo, but like the Sonic Boom comes out sooner than you would think. And Gal can be charging the whole time. Look at that. Mmm, it was the right punish from the wrong range. He probably should have just punished straight away with like a medium ruffian. Kill? Not quite. Oh, it should have been Meaty Rocks. That's all right. He still won. Meaty Rocks made a checkmate. Are you fucking me, Rika? Okay, he still got it. He's just waiting there for an hour for the third one. It's always two, whether it's Super Ultra one. Third one, cinematic only. He almost died there. That was decent. That was quite a good use of meter. Very low scaling on that. But if he started with Crouch Fierce, it would have been a lot better. Alright. Cody's. My favorite super in SF4... My favorite to use is probably Ryu's. My favorite visually? I feel like that's a really good answer for a very cool super. Ganagian is a serious contender. It's always hype seeing a Ganagian combo and wondering whether the guy's going to drop it. Because you get punished so hard for dropping it. And yet the skill ceiling is so high for it. Coolest super. Oh, I'm looking at all these characters. Most of the supers aren't like super cool. That's a tricky one. I guess I like Hugo's super is really cool with the little ender there. It's neat. Uh, I don't know. That's, yeah, that might be the real answer. Raging Demon. Alright, let me show you how to play this matchup. You just wait patiently. See, I'm waiting. Why do anything? Eh. There we go. Oh, I didn't hit him.
far forward would have won clean. It hurts that that's true. Whoa. Uh, I did hard flash kicking it. Lost. Neat. Oh no, I'm dead. Why didn't he kill me with ultra? I was definitely dead to ultra there. Because resource management is kind of sketchy. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. He recovered so quickly. Demon? That's an answer. Technically a good trade for me. I had a kill combo there. I think I'm safe. Oh, I'm not! You're calling me surprised. What are you gonna do about it? A perfect forward jump would have gotten over all that. Wouldn't have had to be even been perfect. Ultra double is a good choice a lot of the time. It's very underrated. It's never really bad. Or rarely is it really bad. There are a couple characters where it's like not really good at all. It's usually just if you're only looking for one ultra setup realistically. You want it to be as strong as possible. Oh, man, it's Dan. You have to have two ultras that genuinely have different utility. Which is most ultras, for the record. I can't see this being a good matchup for Dan. Oh. Well... Ooh, very nice. That actually went a lot farther than I was expecting. Whew. I haven't played SF5 in a minute. Yeah, this is Kage. Uh, I didn't have charge, I guess. That was a failed flash kick too, ironically. EX, for the record. Ooh. Didn't have charge there either. Very nice. Did I get close run house? Build so much meter. Pow. My god, it's too good for these clowns. Oh, GG's. Suffolk done. Uh, only hopped on for him. We still played a good amount. Time to reveal my third strike prowess through massive use of Reese Perry. You guys are going to see some wild shit. <laughs> it didn't work. That would have broken it anyway. It gets beaten by armor break. Easy. Oh, I got far strong. Ah, uh, that was a cross-up! That's good. I think that's fine to spend there. It'd be better if you got me on the ground with it, but you know. It's not always easy to get that. <gasps> My grab! 
Mm. Mm. Easy. Ah. Uh. Sad. Yeah. Is that a punish? We need the punish notification, like Mortal Kombat. I'm tired of not having that. I think Ryu cannot Tatsu through those. Uh, that's punishable in this game. Epic. Ooh. Uh, probably got me. I'm dead. No, I'm not. <laughs> what happened? What went wrong? I wanted far strong and I got close strong and I cancel it like I was going to get the timing of far strong. I didn't think it would be super precise. But you got to cancel close strong super fast because it's the three frame normal. I didn't know we'd be that close to me. I'd be able to get close strong. That'd be further away. I don't know. I think the opinion has gone up a lot. Because of characters. That being said, there's still some fundamental system directions that people, you know, don't like. A lot of the characters are more complex than the original 16, which I appreciate. Greedy? Oh, I did. It's back run house now. I don't think slowness is a bad thing, to be honest. Ooh, that all comboed. Ooh. Deep. Ah. Uh, try to DP it. It's tricky. Um, what SF5 tried to do was have less downtime, which SF4 and 3 and 2... SF4 had a lot of downtime where you were watching the opponent do a combo or you were knocked over or something like that. SF5 has less downtime in the sense that both players have control of their character more often, but it's got more downtime in the sense that you've got a lot of scenarios where there's only one thing that you really need to anticipate. Like if I get rided by a Buki... I'm anticipating between, like, forward dash, low short, or like, you know. There are very few things I have to anticipate. And I'm just looking between those things. And I can usually block my way to safety. But the actual the actual momentum doesn't end for her for a little minute, you know what I mean? Technically, I have control of my character for more, but I'm forced to respect the opponent for more. Uh, oh. Couple chokes on his part made it really easy for me. The lack of options ends up being more waiting, even though they tried to remove waiting fundamentally as a like a mechanic. Ooh, surprised he went for that. Mm. Yeah, that's too far away. That uh, angle, such a far fierce that didn't work. I don't know the timing on that. Crush Fierce is better anyway. It is, but it isn't. It depends on what you're trying to do. I should just cancel the DP, honestly. Both uh, SF5 Ryu and SF4 Omega Ryu have the DP to the towards Fierce to DP cancel as a mechanic. I think the neutral is still intact. 
Making it your turn is as complex a question as it ever has been, in my opinion. But then once it's your turn, it's very, very simple. And once it's the opponent's turn, it's very, very simple. It's still like true mix-ups, but it's very, you know, it's very straightforward. You're not playing a very complex game. Ugh. I wonder if that was a punish. I doubt it. <laughs> I can't believe that just worked. A fireball trap. SF2 style. There's not a lot of time to commit to something between those two. You can't jump out, for example. Ah, fucking Omega. If you're not anti-airing with Uppercut, you're not anti-airing, as far as Omega's concerned. Mm, that's that nerf. So focus back dashes. Not good. Uh. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Ooh, got him. That was actually in my favor to win. Even with how like little HP I had, I think my EXDP would have beaten his Mega Crash. Don't quote me. And uh, it would have beaten anything else he did on Wake Up except blocking, and it was I was plus if he blocked. And if it hit, I had FADC Ultra, and if it was blocked, I had a throw or DP mix up, or a throw or anything mix up really. He had to block into invincible attack. Or block into throw tech. And I would have caught a backdash too. Ooh. Tried to DP there. Too slow. I don't know how minus that is, but I'm failing to punish it with minus minus with five frame stuff. Four frame just caught it. Whew. Is that a punish? Ah, hit out of my motion. That's fine. I think that was overall the better play there. Whew. Very nice. Background us probably would have killed him for free. I did DPF ADC. Ultra. Too bad. Ooh. Sad. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with starting from SF4. It's very rare that anyone played before SF4. The fighting game scene is about probably a hundred times bigger, or maybe even a thousand times bigger now than it was then. Fuck SF5. I like SF5 a lot. I think I like it more than Ultra, but less than Omega. Or maybe I like it a little bit more than Omega. Omega is very frustrating. It's fun when I'm playing well, but like when I start facing like things that I can't beat, I feel less lost. At wow, I feel less lost in uh, SF5. That's not even because I'm a better player, it's just like improving is more straightforward. That was a DP! What went wrong? Ah, oh, that was... I accidentally got two dashes. It's fine. Everything's fine. Beep this. You can just block the whole ultra and then ultra back. 
It's a lot scarier. I say fuck F SF5 all the time. People really want me to hate SF5. I've noticed that a lot. I'm like breaking the narrative by liking it. There seem to be quite a few, at least in my Third Strike friends, a lot of the Third Strike players kind of like it. It's because there's a lot of stuff taken back from Third Strike that like was gone for a long time. Nice. Epic. Epic combo drop. High IQ combo drop. Did you see how perfectly he avoided that? SF5 has the version of Ibuki I hate the least. And also the version of Akuma I hate the least. I usually don't really like those characters, but I like their SF5 versions a lot, which is why I played them. It also has the coolest version of Sakura, in my humble opinion. I will... I will... I'm, I'm not sure about Guile. I like SF5 Guile a lot, but... SF4 Guile and SF2 Guile are extremely cool. And honestly, so is EX Guile. Guile's had a lot of good versions, so it's it's hard. Is that a punish? It looked like it. Alpha Bison is certainly cool in the Psycho Shot. It's cool they brought that back. Where's the stun? There it is. <clears throat> I think if it was called Alpha 4, people probably would have hated it less. That hard fireball is super good for Ryu, to be honest. Oh, I did hard DP. I didn't think about it. You can't super cancel hard DP. To be honest, Alpha 3 is not Alpha 2 at all. SF5 is the perfect name for it, don't get me wrong. This is very distinct from all the other SFs. Might as well just give it a new name. There are so many things SF5 did really well. Quality of life stuff. And then there's so many things it fucked up, like, really badly. Such as this entire release. and communicating with fans in any way. The Street Fighter subreddit has had a long list of the current issues in SF5. Every now and then one of them gets addressed, but you know, when you consider how many things... Ooh, the parry. There's a one button matchup. Whoa. I could have died. Oh, I think I got background house. Uh. Uh. I don't even know. Current SFXT, people are really apologetic to it now, but it's pretty much in the same place that SF5 is. That actually chipped me out. Where it was really bad, but now it's a lot better. But also. It fundamentally has a lot of the system mechanics that people had issues with. It's almost exactly like SF5 in that way. Yeah, that was a good reply. Shit. <gasps> Very shit. Oh, I've got a mountain to climb to win this one. Glad he didn't kill me there, because he could have. Ooh, that did both hits. I knew I was taking my life in my hands to throw that fireball, but I thought he wouldn't get it out in time. It definitely has a lot more creativity than SF5, don't get me wrong. 
But a lot of the stuff that's in it, people just don't want to deal with. Like the long combos. Like it being impossible to find character guides for your combos because someone needs to play your exact same team. In order to really get to the depth of the crazier combos you can do. Boost combos being overpowered, gems being a mechanic in the game. Things people don't like that are just true. I really stunned him. That was like the worst possible combo to go for. I self-cornered. Cool. Complexity is not bad. I like complexity a lot, but other people didn't. That's the trick. Other people were frustrated. Probably a punish there. Maybe back roundhouse. If I'm in that scenario again, I'll try something. My double overhead. I only got one hit. Mm. Tried to back dash. But I was too late. Or maybe I was I got it on time and I just wasn't invincible. That might get me. It's got a pretty nice hitbox, it'll get behind Zangief a lot of the time. He could have killed me without that, but it's perfectly adequate way it would kill me. He didn't like lose out on any meter, or not a significant meter, by going for it. When you armor something, you, I think, still take the stun from it, which he has to be aware of. Well, I, don't, I don't know if he has to be aware of it, but he should be aware of, more like. Ooh, look at that. That, he got a trade combo. Oh my god, I missed the punish. That was cool. I should be throwing a lot more fireballs than I am. Let me fix my face real quick. I don't think Zangief is good in Omega, but I'm definitely not playing against him well. Not doing a good anti Zangief right now. Yeah. Ryu gets more damage out of a level 3 focus. Oh, I tried to throw him. I suppose he did that, because I easily could have jumped. That was probably a punish. I didn't get the combo, though. Ooh, that was nice. You gotta be lucky to get those, though, that's the thing. It's okay to throw them in occasionally, but you know. Ah, I saw the pre-jump frames, but I still didn't manage to get the DP. Ah, that time either. Probably unsafe, probably could have supered it. Did I get him? I waited a kind of a long time. EX was a lot safer there. It's pretty balls out of me to go for an on EX. I probably died to the punish. Maybe did a good punish. Which is, you know, maybe, maybe not. Hard SPD would have killed me, I think. That's pretty, a pretty, pretty feasible punish for him to go for. Practice making you a better player is like the biggest, I don't know how to call it, 
Oh. The biggest problem with fighting games for a lot of people. If practice matters, that pisses people off because they don't want to put in as much effort and then they don't get the rewards. If practice doesn't matter, that pisses people off because, like, you know, you can play and not improve. So what fighting games have been trying to go for, SF5 went for it, and I don't blame them for going for it, is, um, whoa. Make practice matter, but make it so, like, training mode doesn't matter. Make it so the practice that matters is, like, mid-game practice and, like, footsie practice that you can only get from playing more. Oh, Less strong didn't hit. Oh, that went so far! People aren't willing to... People don't respect. No. Nah, I went for a Ken combo, I'm not lying. Eh, that's, that's fine. Did I get him? You gotta get that deep in order for that cancel to work. Needs to be a very deep medium uppercut. Hard uppercut doesn't work at all. Light uppercut usually trades or loses. Can't be done deep like that. I want Viking to grab me and hold me b underneath her sweaty armpit. What do you guys think of that? Anyone else? Uh. Ooh. I think he's attacks whiff so fast. Sometimes people ask me whether SF5 is a good game, and I almost always reply that I like it, rather than saying it's good. And that's because genuinely I don't think it's a very good game. Got the one hit again. I usually dodge the question if I can help it. Is SF5 a good game? Well, I like it. That's almost always my reply. Oh, fuck. Ooh. I did EXDP too, that's the funny part. He probably would have grabbed me there if he waited like a couple more frames. Time to roll the counter pick. I'm running out of fight money too. I can't do costumes anymore even though they're making cool ones. I really like that cat, but I can't get it. The fight menu scenario is awful. They should just make a fucking final edition like Mortal Netherrealm does. Fuck, these jumps. He's on point with the jumping. God, like, whip punish right there. Sermonos is the king in this matchup. It controls Zangief's forward movement and it also controls his jumps. It literally, like, it's a one-button answer to his whole character. It's common to have one-button answers to Geef, but, like, that's a really good one. They're usually not that good. It's, like, very not that risky to do that. And what little, like, range I don't get, I can usually counter poke with low forward or low strong, low jab, even. Ma. Uh. 
Wow. You didn't catch my frame trap. I had a little bit longer of a combo I could have gone for there. If I want to spend some meter, which I should have. Epic Sagat combos right there. That wasn't optimal, but it was not too far away from optimal. Yeah, completed just an MKXL. SF5's been out long enough. They could just do that. Just give everyone all the DLC and just like throw a $40 price tag on it or something 30 I guarantee people would buy it. Because there's a lot of DLC in SF5, and a lot of people just quit after like Season 1. A lot of people would just get like 18 characters out of it. That'd make it worth it. It's currently kind of like a weird pain in the ass to get all the characters. Oops. I mean, they did do it with AE, but I feel like they could have done it more than they did. Uh, Get away from me. Mm, that went so far. Ugh. Light DP was the play. It's still invincible. I did medium. Medium has a lot less range. I would have killed him right there if I did light DP. Epic. Not a good trade. Hey, look at that. That's good until he gets his meter. Oh. Jump in ultra, I dare you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. Got me. I'm dead! Okay, I'm not dead. He was too far away. Even with my air normal. He didn't grab it. I wouldn't be too surprised if I could just DP his block to stand run or crutch run house. I should try that. Oh my god! I gave him too much time. Oh fuck, got me. Perfect read. Epic. Mm, I got away anyway. Whew. He was ready, even though I barely done it. That was bad, but I salvaged it. I went for towards Rhinos. I started to do Ultra, and then I changed my mind and tried to towards Rhinos, but I already buffered the Ultra, so I got a Tiger Knee. He was ugly. Very ugly. He could have just killed me when I did the anti-air light uppercut, because he could have ultra it. I was thinking he wouldn't know I would do that. He'd think I was just doing Rhinos. But uh, anti-air uppercut, FADC Ultra was going to kill him, I think. They've been pretty good about their promise that vanilla SF5 would be the only version you need. That's one of the promises they kept. Granted, it's inconvenient to get all the characters without, you know, buying a lot of them. But at least, you know, the one disc is the one disc you buy. Probably DP that. Uh, not with that kind of DP. No, oh, I didn't hit him. That's the normal I should have done. Ton of damage on that. Got him. Look at that. How am I how do I beat that normal?
This is probably a really bad matchup for Geef, but I'm not great at it. I think they're currently working on SF6. I think that's pretty obvious. I don't know if SF5 is done. That I don't know about at all. But I think they are working on SF6. Set a punish. I got some hits. Nice kills, I think. They could call it SF6. It might be a sequel to fucking one of our existing games. Could be Alpha 4. Could be SF3.4. Could be a lot of things. Oops, I rolled another counter pick. I just want to play characters I like. Maybe they're making the Street Fighter 4.6. Maybe. Oh. oh, I did the... I went to do that. Uh. My bad. I deserve all this. I deserve all that. Because of how bad I am. Hyper realistic Abigail. Why does Abigail not have a Nemesis skin? Like, actually. Doesn't even punish. What a sorry state the world is in right now. Epic combo. Oh no, this is going to do so much. Uh. Oh fuck, I'm bad. Uh. He's bad too, it's fine. It's okay. Down Fierce didn't work. Am I really just supposed to use down towards medium kick? Uh. Mm. Uh. Help. This is bad. Ah, I'm dead. Goken's got a DP. It's a super. And his Ultra 1. I mean, EX Tatsu is functionally a DP. Just a lot more committal. Oh yeah. Uh. Risky uppercut I just did. Yeah, I knew. 
I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew because I did that risky uppercut. Ugh, it didn't win. I don't know how good that is. Uh. God, that has an actual nice hitbox. Whew. Look at my HP, it melted. Oh, I'm dead. Was expecting wake up Larry to something. I had media live forward. That's unfortunate. Oh no. Mm. Mm. Oh, fuck. Speedy here. Ah. Very cool ender. I could have died to a jump in ultra there too. What about that though? NTR strong NTR strong DP into raging demon. I came was so cool in Omega. I don't know if I've ever seen negative opinion towards Necro. He's certainly a weird and maybe unpleasant character. But I really don't feel like he's disliked. He's got a super unique playstyle. That comboed! He's comboing the trade! I don't like that he can do that. I went for the throw and I mistimed it. And there as well. Oh, fuck. I'm reacting too slow. My anti-air fireball didn't cut it. Uh, that was nice. Well chosen normal. That beat my Crutch Fierce. Crutch Fierce has no upper body invincibility whatsoever. In fact, it makes him taller. Hi. Oh my god. I always try to counter poke that. Never to much success. Mm. Okay, I just held that instead of mashing it like a fiend. Uh, he did it, the madman. I could have died there. Both heaven and earth tremble before me. That was probably minus enough to be punishable. That was a punish. Uh. I should have demoned. Demon would kill. Ah. Got me, I think. Oh, never mind. I should have cancelled it. OS. That's what they did with Mortal Kombat. Um... 
X. One of the Mortal Kombat games with intros, which I guess has to be either X or 11, so I guess it was X, had some of the mirror matches implying that one of the characters was Shang Tsung. Even though he was like maybe canonically dead, he also seems to kind of be alive now. I don't know. It's tricky because like they're not really clear on whether dead people end up in the nether realm or if they just stop existing in the Mortal Kombat universe. Can you like go to the nether realm and visit dead people? It seems they treat death like it's pretty permanent despite the fact that it's pretty not permanent. Epic. Oh, very unepic. I don't know if that was a punish. If he anti jumped for sure, he could have baited me. Oh my god, that went so far. Ah, uh, too high. You gotta instant instant air that. Dead strike combo. I mean, that's a 5 combo. Uh. Mm. This is not good. This is mucho not good. How is this possible? Epic. Epic jumping combo. Oh. I went for the air throw and missed it and then I was caught off guard. Damn. He's done that like 90% of the time after I crutch forward. Uh, mm, I don't even know how I got that. I was going for ultra. This is not good. How did he know? Should have teleported away. I just wanted to land the ultra. You know how it is. He wasn't in Injustice 2. I mean, he was in the game. But in the story mode, he only made one appearance as a dream sequence. Oh my god, that's a fucking setup? Dink. I shot the fireball and made it hit him late. That's too good for you. What will happen now? Fight. That's too good for you. That's kinda cool, but like what did it do at the end of the day? Ooh. Ew, I didn't hit him. Probably could have SPD'd me there, to be honest. Ooh, that was cool. Could have done something a bit more menacing. Whoa.
Let's refresh the Golden Warrior because he picks this outfit in this color. I'll drink as loud as I want. I'm going to slurp really fucking loud next time I take a sip. That's your punishment for being here. Let it be known that I don't give a fuck about any of the people who come to this place. Ugh. Nice. Epic fireball. Oh no, I'm gonna die! Those both SPDs. I'm scared. I'm super scared. Don't... Don't ultra me. Oh, fuck. Cool. I have to be really brave to throw all three of those fireballs, to be honest. Hmm. Ryu's perhaps in his young 30s. He's definitely not 40. Not that much time has passed. Oh my god! Mashing 360 that early on Wake Up. Oh my god. Yeah, it's 1964, but... Third strike takes place in the 90s. Ooh, that actually was a true anti-air. Mm. He could have supered, couldn't he? I should have supered there. I could have died. Top of my third strike BGM tier list is the theme of the game. And then the theme that plays when the credits are rolling. And then Q's theme. Then maybe Dudley. And then Aura. A nice solid top five. I think that's super obnoxious for uh, Zangief to deal with. Ooh, that's obnoxious for me to deal with. That's unfortunate, because that would have done a lot of damage. Mm. A little strong there, I guess. I don't know. Not a punish. Uh, this is bad. Ooh. This is very, very not good. That was an accidental demon flip. Fortunately, he was just caught off guard as me. The definition of fucking Shoto is so pretend. It's a fighting style, dude. 
Koken uses a weird variation of it, so God doesn't use it at all. Using Shoto as a character archetype is so, like, weird. Oh no! The rules change so much. That's a lot of damage. Ah, uh, whatever. What up? Cut it out. Oh! Man, that angle. Oh. Nice SPD nerd. I didn't get him. <laughs> Help! Ah, that didn't chip him! <laughs> Maybe it's because I did the heavy one. Maybe the damage was too distributed. I bet the heavy one has the least damage per single hit. I don't know if the light one would have reached him at all. Maybe the medium would have killed him. I thought he was dead to chip, I don't know what to say. Wake up fireball was actually the play there. What a world we live in. I get the fireball and uppercut, but I think people sound so fucking stupid when they try and define what a Tatsu is and why Sagat somehow counts. So it's a special move inputted with kick that fucking moves you forward. There's like so many moves that do that. Uh. 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 Forgot how slow that shit was. I got the fire version. What are you do about this? Whew! Came out a little too slow. The flat, out, the flat out of the matter is Tiger Knee is not a Tatsu. It's not very similar to a Tatsu. There's no dodging that fundamental question. Space dash punches. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh my god! Of all the ways to lose. Sagat is definitely designed to reference Ryu. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely like some Ryu going on in that design. Ah. Oh, that didn't combo. The fact that Ryu and Sagat are like traditional rivals, and the fact that Ryu is dragon based and Sagat is tiger based, and dragons and tigers are classic enemies in Chinese Chinese zodiac lore. Sagat is obviously designed to like be a counterpart to Ryu, but Colin Sagat is Shoto. I just feel think I just think it's kind of weird. They're like Converse. They're like not even Nikes. Uh, my headbutt. Oh, 
I didn't get there. Hmm. Keep this epic confirm. Oh, that was it. That was my ultra. I didn't believe. Here I come. Can't believe that worked. Oh, on four. Should have done EX, I guess. Never had that fall out like that. Punished. Mm, that could have been punished. Ah, it fell out again. The same way. I didn't want that! What a waste of bar! If I was going to spend that, I could have just killed him. It's a failed DX upper. I just, I guess I overmashed. Oh. Uh. Ugh. It's happening a lot. I'm not expecting to be on that side, so I was charging the wrong way. Mm. Help. Oh, fuck. Mm. Nice. Where's your meter? Damn, the super links there or something? Or it cancels, right? He just cancelled the second hit. I could have died to a lot of those, maybe. The better execution on your part. Should I get Mongolian barbecue for dinner tonight? I'm not actually going to. But, you know. I'm thinking about it. Because I want it. That was not wise. Epic one frame link I just got. Oh no! I'm sure Sweet punishes that. Sad. Look at that. Not enough to dissuade me, though. Watch this epic whiff punish. Oh. No whiff punishes for me. X copy of all things? You think? It's not like he copies every character, he just copies the character that's on screen. I guess it is a lot of extra sprites to make, but I don't even know if it's using the extra sprites or just like filtering them somehow. That knee move does seem pretty safe. Ooh. It's kind of funny that I can just anti air. Oof. Yeah. That looked like it lost some hits. <laughs> you guys are going to see a wild combo next round. High IQ combo. Ugh. That's my high IQ combo. 
You guys like it? I think it was kind of cool. Where'd all the damage? It's just me that I do almost nothing to him. I feel like he had a, like... I feel like he had almost that HP, like, when I did it. Someone rewind that. I want to see the clip. Yeah, Stan Fierce EX cancels and the EX overhead combos. It's so cool. You get a big long combo out of it. SF3 combos are very cool to me. They're near perfect. Although I don't mind Mortal Kombat style combos myself. I think those are kind of fun. Dialog combos on the grounds, juggles in midair. MK11 particularly has some pretty fun juggles with the dash cancel stuff. Stop. Uh, no comment. I missed uh, reversal headbutt, but I think it's throwable anyway, so I probably would have just died. I did a meterless one, so, you know, let's just say it wasn't a good look. I should really EX that. Look at that punish. Oh, look at that punish. Very cool. Oh, that was a punish! Gross. I tried to EX that on my cup, but really I would have just jumped into the corner. I was definitely going left there if I got it. And it was going to be super awkward and I was going to be very unsafe. But I missed it anyway. SF3's been out for a super long time, and there's just a patch that they could just make that would just fix a lot of the really dumb issues without really adding anything objectionable. We all know it. Oof. Ugh. Go away. Oh, fuck. And hit him. Off. Oh, flip. <laughs> Why don't I just go for an ultra combo? Did I have it? I didn't. Go away. If you only changed the low tiers and you didn't even touch Chun Li, Yun, and Ken, you wouldn't offend most players, longtime players of the game, because you wouldn't be ruining their character. Granted, I think Chun Li could use a little bit of touching, and Yun as well. Ken would be a decent bar to set the game to. Anyone better than him is nerfed, anyone worse than him is buffed. Ugh. He hit me. 
Ugh, he hit me again. Get this man away from me. Yeah, get the game the Mike Z. I wouldn't slow down Ken's Super 3, I don't think. Maybe I would. More likely, I would um, just make it so there's less, like, minus 3 attacks in really stupid places. The real problem is that fucking shit like Yurian's overhead is, like, minus 3 in the first place. It's like, why is it like that? Ah, I barely missed on the meter. I kind of fucked myself over even doing that car because I thought I'd build extra meter, but I think I lost meter doing it. We don't even need Mike Z, we just need his list and he already made it. Give the game to Capcom along with Mike Z's list. It's okay for Ken to have a super fast super, I feel. I'd buff Ken's other supers. That's what I would do. People are like, oh, nerf Ken SA3, but I think the real problem is Shoryu Repa. It's a fucking mess. Mm. Why'd I do it? It was ugly. Whoa. Uh, way too fast. I should whiff some Fukiyagas whenever I get stuns. Uh. Uh, I'm supposed to be staying short cancel into that. Very nice. Oof. Wow. Not a good trade. Very not good. God bless Makota's four dash. Uh, I'm dead. That was a pretty wild decision. I like it. Imagine finding out that there was going to be a mortal, I mean, not mortal, uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z fighting game, and then finding out that, like, Goku and Vegeta were, like, a third of the characters. Uh, that's hard. Cool. Good trade for me at this point. The worst part is they added every single character they could. There aren't that many characters that should be in Dragon Ball Fighters that aren't. They've pulled from every source. I mean, they barely pulled from GT, but, you know, it's like, what do you do? Who do you add at this point? They could have some more super characters, I guess. Roshi's not in the game. Okay, yeah, Roshi. Oh. Ah. He should have believed. He had a big combo on me there.
He's alive. TC. TC normal. Whew. That conversion. You guys see that? I think Sin Shorts are 3 from normal. I don't know Makoto's from data. It's either 3 or 4. That works in a lot of places where Stand Strong doesn't, and I think Stand Strong is 4. I know it's literally not Goku, but also I, I'm fine calling Goku Black Goku. Are you ready? Epic. Mm, that's so t precise a time. Ooh. Key back dash too. Deep. I should have done Saint short of anything. Good trade for me. Oh my god, what a mess. It's coming at me. Okay. It's not a punish, I don't think. How is Negan real? Every time I think about that, I'm just like, what the fuck? It is like the ultimate, like, why did you add this character to me? What was that clip? You guys see that? There's a Tekken character in Smash, there's Heihachi on Pac-Man. Oh, he might have got me. I'm a low IQ player. because I was too slow on my cancel. And that was a punish too. Mm. Ah, oh, that was it. 
I baited everything by sitting there with my fucking hand out. I baited the Mega Crash and the Ultra. I don't blame him for going for both. I think the Ultra was a good decision, the Mega Crash was a bad decision. But he shouldn't have just done Wake Up Ultra. He shouldn't have done Wake Up Anything, but after he did the Mega Crash, Ultra was like the best thing he could have done. Fast. He jumped anyway. Why did I not use heavy? I had to use the bar to kill him. Because I did medium instead of heavy. Low IQ. Low IQ Beth. Ew. Ew. I didn't cancel it because I wasn't brave enough. I got step step kicks for days. Ooh. I low blocked. More like I low IQ blocked. That wasn't a punish. That was a punish. This is not good. I don't know if that's a good trade. Kind of an even trade. Technically bad for me, I lost screen position. That actually hits in the back. It's probably a lot safer on the back hit. I seem to remember that. Like, if it hits in the front, it's pretty punishable, but if it hits on the back hit, it's a lot closer to the recovery, but has just as long a block stone. I gotta hit him with a few Elena's before I'm done. Make him regret ever playing this game. Maybe sitting down with me. Sephiroth just got me playing and then left. Is that easy? Neat. Ooh. punches. I should do some super stuff. Makoto super is fun. I can do at least one super related thing. Mm. Mm. Ow. Oh, he knew. He was just waiting for it. Whoa. That wasn't a punish, was it? <gasps> I fucked it up! I'd already jumped. That was supposed to be staying short into Fukiyage. But I got staying short and top forward somehow. Uh. 
did it. The madman. He did it again. The madman. He did it again. No, he didn't. He did it again. Um. Oh, I tried. I just hit the altar there. I just messed it up. Man, I killed him in that second round if I just hit the combo. I got a little caught up looking for stuff I wanted to land. And died. I killed him if I just did any other combo, to be honest. I could have just hit him with a million other things. Oh. Who is this guy? Whoa. It worked. Whoa. It was an accident. Oh fuck, that was a DP. My forward motion probably fucked that up a little bit. Uh. Ooh, that was no anti-air. Alright, what do I do to live? I think I'm still alive. It's close though. Mm. Wake up Super would have killed him. Wake up Ultra would have killed him. I didn't believe in those options. I didn't want to use any meter. Nice back dash. Got me midair. The Mega Crash. Again. This game came out in 2009. Technically it came out in 2008. For all I know it could have been out in late 2007 for the Japanese arcade. But definitely 08. Stopped seeing regular play in 2015. Retrospect, it's hard to call. It's very centralizing. They made combos a lot shorter. Why can't I forward dash? It's not fair. Sand jab is like never the right button. It's almost remarkable. Is that a punish? That strike can buy a beer. It turned 20 just recently. I don't know why I did that. Oh. Hey. Oh, he bad sprayed me. He didn't help. he didn't like that. My god jab.
Oh, I tried to hit it coming in. Perhaps greedy. Ten days ago. I remember playing uh, Third Strike almost when it was new on the Dreamcast at my friend's house. I didn't like it. In fact, I hated it. I played 12. Isn't it funny how the world works sometimes? Uh, uh. Well, it was the right ender anyway. It's kind of cool that I went for that. Ugh, he did it so late! It's like an OS, really. All my NTOs do no damage. Just like that fucking LA9 SF uh, in Ultra. How's he alive? What do I chip him out with? Yeah, it's like really specific who has light medium combos, and they all have like shit for range. I actually really like the way they've handled it, but uh, they cut combos down too much in other ways. I think the risk reward is something they really like. That's really cool. That's a really cool part of it. Mm. One of the big problems with SF is that they relies fully on scaling for the risk reward. Oof. Big oof. Hey. Oh. Would I have died to jump on us? Because if so, that was bad. I think I would have. I went for that looking for a trade combo. And OS and uh, FADC dash. I lab that and it's not bad. Ooh, he got me. Sniped. No mega crashes or anything. I've said it before, but one of my biggest problems with SF5 is the fact that you get max damage combos off of, like, your basic confirms for a lot of characters. If you're, like, Ryu, Staying strong, crouch fierce is like your main confirm, but it's also like one of your max damage routes, which ends up being kind of weird. Does some ugly things for the game overall. Technically, we can get a bit more damage uh, towards fierce combos. But there are so many characters where their max damage is their like basic confirm. Sakura, stand strong, back fierce. So this thing that you're just constantly throwing around just does a lot of damage. Believe me, there's not too much risk to Sakura stand strong in SF5. Ooh, 
Like in SF3, if I'm starting like a max damage combo with Oro, I'm doing it off of stand strong one hit into medium stomp, which is quite punishable if you're fighting an opponent who knows how to punish it. That screen flash happened again. Max range. Yeah. Here I come. Mm. I hit him. Ooh. Save me. This is scary. Oh fuck, it's getting scarier and scarier. There's just very little risk to attacking in general. But there are so many characters where that's true. There isn't like such a thing as like a punish-only combo as much in SF5. There are still some. Like, Sakura's got the... Um... Ooh. Sakura's got like the... Down fierce into medium. Oh, I dropped it. It's heavy. It's heavy there. Because I spent the extra bar. I forgot. Mm, I should have maintained him. Low profile, baby. That looked super awkward. I did an absolute baby combo just to ensure that I would not drop it. Baby FADC right there. There are more two bar combos than there used to be, which I liked, and the meter use of like one bar versus two bars versus three bars to the damage you get is about right, I feel. I just feel like the meterless combos are a bit too strong. I feel like the Combos from light should do about 100, and the combos from, like, confirming mediums, like Balrog stay medium kick to medium punch or whatever, should be, like, 200 at most. Yeah. Oh, I tried to read a backdash. Should have slid, I guess. Damn, he just does it. This man just does it. My own fault, it's because I let him. I didn't get him. That's sad. That is, always has less range than I feel like it does. You can take those throws. I'm always surprised when he doesn't. Nash is a Probably, it feels weird to say it, but I think Nash probably is a bottom 5 character and probably bottom 3. It's just strange, because he's not that bad. SF5 has good balance. Yeah, Nash was definitely not bad on release. I could have killed there, somehow. Somehow I could have killed. What's my max damage two bars? EX. EX, spin scythe, EX, rhino, horn. And then hard uppercut. Uh, that's a DLC, or it's not even DLC, that's like a, that's a mod I've got. Elena was my main, so I have a mod for her. Elena is Kenyan. For a very long time, probably not true anymore, Kenya had the highest opinion of the United States of any country in the world, including the United States. 
What about that confirm? I'm willing to bet that in no small part that was because of Barack Obama being Kenyan. Hmm. Uh oh. Kinda let myself get attacked there, that whole round. Barack Obama and generally, I think, U.S. humanitarian efforts to Kenya. U.S. does a lot of stuff in Kenya, and we don't, like, want anything from them. You know, we don't want their oil or whatever. There's no, like, deeper motivation than, like, friendship and humanitarian stuff, I don't think. Probably all contributing factors. There were no tournaments whatsoever for Omega Mode, to the best that I can tell. There were a couple tournaments that were, um... Uh... Edition Select. I didn't want that, but ended up working, so... But, of course, the Omega characters were not very played in the Edition Select, because people knew how to play them. And most people just picked shit like fucking A.E. on... Nils got. Okay, why wouldn't you? But they're legal. Mega characters are, for the most part, barely better than Ultra characters. I might get hit. Omega again did have an infinite, but it was patched. And that was one of the main reasons that... Oh. That was one of the main reasons that Omega saw no play. That's because people thought it wasn't serious, because that was just a character with an infinite. There were actually... Viper had two infinites, and Ibuki had an infinite as well. There were four known infinites, and they were all patched out. I I could do the Gen 1 no problem, and I also learned the Ibuki one. Anyone could do the Gen 1. You just hit Light Kick repeatedly. You have to chain into Light Kick any way you want, and then mash Light Kick. That was the infinite. Raw Light Kick wasn't an infinite, but if you just chained into it, like Crouch Jab into fucking Light Kick, that would work. Probably had a combo there. Very nice. The bad spray. I tried to crouch fierce that. Maybe it was greedy. Max damage. Uh, that wasn't max damage. Uh oh. I'm dead. Technically an optimal kill. If he killed me with anything else, um, he would have built some meter. That built no meter for him. Not a big deal though. Yeah. I fed seed that, so I'm glad it whiffed. I didn't spend anything. Grabbed him from so far out. That could have hit the landing recovery. Hmm. How does he find these jumps? I got a super there and I chose not to. I definitely gave him that jump. Mm, that was super risky on my part. EX would have hit him. Rhino Horn would have hit him too. Cool punish. Plus frames. Whiff punished, baby. Whoa. Didn't want it. Ended up being a cool bait.
thought if I killed him with uh I thought if I did a DP the super wouldn't come out at all. So I mashed super. There's the fucking reality stone. What does that mean to be the reality stone? Who's the biggest brain in the FGC? He's the mind stone. Is that Shen? Shen the mind stone? Desk is the power stone? Oh, we're talking about like YouTubers. Did I make one? Did I make the cut? Oh, uh, look at that hitbox. Do it again. Throw another one. I want everyone to know I've never done a lane to sustain job on purpose. Oh. That was very reactable, especially because he whiffed it. They probably would have hit me out of my motion if he didn't time it like that. Spooky was playing uh, in Mortal Kombat just recently. Oh, recent next level battle circuit match. I did that for the corner carry. Ah, it hit me. I'd jump over just so it wouldn't hit me. I want everyone to know I've never done that on purpose. I held it, motherfucker. It's so weird for someone to hold it in that context that a lot of people aren't ready for it. If you get hit early out of your focus, you're such a sitting duck. You got no armor. You're sitting there charging for a super long time. Maybe Tokido's the mind stone of its players. They would all be Japanese. Holy cow. Oh, I hit my button too early. I'm here. I hit him on the ground. I don't like that. You should jump medium kick. You recover before I did. Mm. That was not a good punish. Oh no, I'm dead. No, I'm not. He didn't have anything to juggle into because he had no meter. I had to EX there to get the combo at all. Mm. Epic. Oh yeah. Time for me to be a completely disrespectful bully and leave on a perfect plus a 10 win streak. After getting an after match cancel. <sighs> I made decisions to pursue the perfect, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, one more. Mm. I think Hitbox is the future. Oh, all the input methods, hitbox is the closest to perfect, in my opinion.
Whoa. That was a punish, actually. It recovers longer than it used to. I could have died. Oh, I... Fuck, he hit me. Gotcha. I knew. Uh, I want to close forward and I didn't get it. It's not good. That was a punish, I think. Oh, don't tell me that shit. What was he doing? Hitbox is a keyboard, but it's a nice keyboard on the box. Uh, that's, that's like a Sakura. It's like an ultra Sakura thing. Sakura fucking sucks. That back fierce is the worst thing ever. I should have not even gone for it. It never works. Oh. I could have killed him right there. But I just didn't do that. Technically a bad trade. I didn't want that. He mashed. I didn't want it. Alright, never mind, it's fine. He tried to invincibility through it. It was still going to be pretty safe, probably. Ooh. DP would have killed him. That's it, 2020. Ugh. Oh, I got him. Of all the ways to win, that was very like, very like luster. Alright, I want another one. That was shitty. But then I'm probably going to pause to get food. Plump has a hitbox. I've used it. It feels weird, but I think with practice it would feel very natural. Get out of my airspace. Ooh, I didn't want it. My tiny, tiny anti-air is not very good for that kind of task. So an SPD. Whoa. Whew. Barely. Why is giving me space? Stop giving me space. Oh. Don't grab me, please. Cool. Oh, I went over him. I had that happen. Mixed feelings about the whole thing. Oh my god. He could have just killed me with a, like another jab. Like a reset. He 
he was like waiting and watching. He still wasn't ready for that. Uh, I got him with some white, but it's probably all gonna come back. Oh yeah. That sucks. Sephic does that and it sucks when he does it. So I did it and like it sucked when I did it. And now I just have really, I feel dumb. Yeah. Ah, Fire Fierce doesn't cancel, does it? Look at these heavies I'm slamming him with. He ate so many normals so quickly. Smacked him all around. Alright, this one's my last one for real. But I hope I get a cool EX Tatsu combo or something. But if I don't, it's okay. There are a lot of things you can say to like not be selected for jury duty. Without also getting arrested. I've heard a lot of stories of people saying jury annulment. If you like say jury annulment at all. Um, I tried to DP the wrong way. Wish I was joking. They don't want anyone who knows what Jury and Ullman is on either side. Uh. Ugh, it lagged too, but that was my fault for sure. It was just dumb. Come back here. Oh, that hit me. Claim you don't speak English. That'll get you out like nothing. Uh, I should have known it was so obvious. Yeah, I could have DP cancel. I didn't get it. It's hard, honestly. That was not max damage, but I was afraid to do anything else. Wish I was joking. Whack. E, and he got me with the X. Oh, he keeps on doing it. I keep on not being ready. Whoa. Uh, I deserve it. Oh, I'm dead. Good games. I thought it was good. The timing on that changed from Ultra, because her dash is faster. I'm going to leave. Good games, good games.